sometimes we have to optimize an ob objective function which has some point or some subset of domain where we cannot define derivatives. So what if f is not differentiable? How can we op optimize the objective function? If we cannot define derivative, if f is not differentiable, we might not use um, gradient descent algorithm. We might not able to use the gradient descent algorithm because we cannot use gradient. But we can define subgradients in some case. If we can find the vector g that satisfies this inequality. Okay? This is very a look like a gradient. Note that fy is greater than or equal to fx plus gradient of fx transpose y minus x if f function is differentiable. If f is differentiable, when you find the gradient that point x, then the the line function, the tangent line function at point x always below the convex objective function f so we can easily check the, the this, this inequality so even if the function is not differentiable so function is looks like um, this then this point is not differentiable because the derivative here and derivative here suddenly change so we cannot define a derivative at point here but still, there is many affine functions which meet a point here, fx, and which always below the objective function f for a whole range, whole infinite range. Okay, so, so because it still have all the property we want to use to define gradient descent approach, so basically we can uh, use the slope of this line this is absolutely okay absolutely fine so all the grad all the all the slope that satisfy this inequality that is a uh, set of subgradient at point x and we can use any subgradient to learn uh, subgradient descent algorithm okay so if vector g satisfy this inequality then the vector is called subgradient and subgradient can be many, okay? Can be infinitely many at single point, whereas gradient always uh, unique. Okay. So, for instance, if f x is um, absolutely value of x, then this is not differentiable at point zero. But we can define many many tangent line here uh, and so g vector can be ranged from minus 1 to 1 with any minus 1 to 1 slope uh, the, the affine function defined at here will below the true function f okay so in this case the the subgradient is all the range between minus and 1 so there is infinitely many subgradient. Okay, so let f be convex and domain of f be open, and let's say b is a uh, non-negative value. So if the subgradient norm is less than or equal to b for all input x range. And for all subgradient g, which means your function f is um, bounded uh, subgradient that is almost uh, that is um, almost identical concept to Lipschitz continuity. So in the Lipschitz continuous case, we have uh, this condition: gradient of f x norm is bounded by b. Likewise. For subgradient case, we want to bound the, the norm of subgradient for all domain and for all subgradient set. If this is satisfied, 
okay because your function uh, slope always bounded by b we can uh, say this is smooth although this is not differentiable and we can uh, guarantee very nice convergence behavior like before so we can define subgradient descent like before we just replace the gradient by subgradient using the same binary analysis from the definition of subgradient we have this inequality and from the definition of gradient descent subgradient descent approach we have this inner product uh, representation and from this simple a norm the square plus b norm the square minus 2a transpose b is equal to a minus b norm the square uh, using this property we have this and again can replace this by the subgradient definition so when you sum up all the this term and this term from t0 to capital T minus 1 we have this inequality there is no difference between this analysis and our final analysis for gradient descent approach okay so when you ignore this this is r square and since we cannot guarantee f x t plus 1 is less than or equal to f x t this is not true so we cannot guarantee f x capital t is less than or equal to something we cannot guarantee this instead we have uh, f x bar minus f x star is less than or equal to b r over square root capital t as before course here x bar is um, x0 plus x1 plus up to plus xt minus 1 over capital T okay so so let's wrap up um, let's uh, the when we have function that differentiable at some point or at some range still we can define uh, so kind of gradient descent with subgradient vector subgradient vector pretty much like a gradient and subgradient descent algorithm is almost identical to the pure gradient descent approach